Tomorrow, regulators are voting on rules that could phase out new natural gas appliances across Southern California. KCAL News reporter Amanda Sorrentino tells us why a lot of people oppose the phase out despite the environmental benefits. This would change how many Southern Californians heat their house and their water. So the goal here, a step towards cleaner air, but it could come at a steep cost for homeowners and businesses. I do feel like it's going to definitely impact customers simply because we're not giving customer choices, right? So if you're forcing everybody to go into an electric water heater, then at that point you're pretty much making um, the decision to um, push everybody towards that. The South Coast Air Quality Management District's proposed changes would require a gradual shift over more than a decade from gas powered water heaters and furnaces to electric ones starting in 2027. That's for the first uh, when the, the first uh, sales target for the uh, zero emission technology takes place. At that time, manufacturers would show that they have at least 30 percent of their uh, units that are sold are zero emission technology. The AQMD says this is a critical step to improve the state's air quality. We have uh, some of the worst air quality in the country, so this is part of our strategy to try to reduce emissions so that we're able to get to cleaner air in our region. But some people, like Orange County Supervisor Don Wagner, worry the costs outweigh the benefits, especially with the already strained housing market. We have a housing crisis in California. This is going to increase the cost to build. It's going to increase the cost to rent. It's going to increase the cost of homeowners throughout the Southern California region. The AQMD disputes cost estimates as high as $47,000 per household, but contractors say many homes will need expensive electrical upgrades if they are already not suited for it. If there's no electrical service there, they could be looking at $2,000 to $10,000 for a panel upgrade then the breaker, and then running the electrical service to wherever the water heater is going to be. Small businesses also have concerns, including restaurants that rely on their gas-powered equipment. Thinking that we might not have that type of equipment, changing the equipment can cost a restaurateur hundreds of thousands of dollars, not only in the equipment, but also in the upgrades to the facility. And beyond the price tag, many fear the state's electrical grid may not be able to handle the increased demand. Well, I don't think there's sustainability at all inside of our electric we see our utility bills continue to rise on the electric grid, brownouts, which affect our operations. With all of these concerns, the AQMD insists customers will still have some choice here. And the plan includes financial incentives for consumers, while manufacturers and sellers will be charged a mitigation fee with each sale of a gas heater. We're going to start out with a $21 million pilot for that, where folks can be able to apply to that to get incentives to help with this transition. Still, many fear that no matter who pays, the cost will ultimately fall on consumers. So that mitigation fee is definitely going to be passed on to the consumer, and that's obviously going to increase the price. In Fullerton, Amanda Starantino, KCAL News. It is something, you look at the cost of everything, it seems like it's going up, but we I also know. want cleaner right. air and right. the environment's important, so it's a, it's a delicate balance. It's tough. Definitely paying more, but it's for things we want. I know. But who can afford it? I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who can afford anything right. anymore.